We're losing a football field of land every 100 minutes. We've all heard the numbers, and they're scary. That's land that is right directly around New Orleans. It goes all the way down to Plaquemines Parish and across to Cameron Parish. The Environmental Coalition Restore, keeping the crisis front burner. This is Blind River in the struggling Maurepas Swamp, once a dense cypress forest, now just treading water to survive. But it's still a key to economy, habitat, and hurricane protection. As sea levels rise and salt water continues to move into the system, it will disappear and die. The key to survival, diverting fresh water. The Mississippi and the Maurepas Swamp, a number of projects already in the works. It's all about fresh water, getting fresh water back into the system, getting nutrients back into the system. Because the swamp can survive and even thrive for a long time, but it needs more water. We have no time to waste. We basically, we, we have to start working immediately, and, and the state is. The Morapa Swamp Diversion Project is little as two years away from construction, but until then, the hurricane protection it provides is in jeopardy. It's getting bad enough that the, I mean, see the bedroom communities of our capital are starting to be threatened by this coastal crisis. Your kids, your kids' kids, they don't have what, you know, we had as a kid, you know, growing up. You know, I mean, the, the freedom to go hunting and eating, all that you kill or catch. Coastal and wetland restoration, out of sight, out of mind. So forays like this one into Morapa are critical in driving the need home. We can do it. We have the money through um, some of the oil spill settlements. As long as we spend the money on the right things, we can do this. Projects in Morapa, part of a 2017 coastal master plan, including similar efforts in Pontchartrain, Barataria, and the Atchafalaya. Restore calls it a matter of survival. In Morapa Swamp, Heath Allen, WDSU News.